Hi, I'm Lucy Edwards, Director of Client Success at VHT Studios. Nice. I'm Mike Pappas. I'm the CEO and President of the Kai's Company and Illustrated Properties here in South Florida. And you just purchased uh, Illustrated Properties. Well, not just. A few years back, few years there was a, it was a family-owned, operated business with about 600 agents in northern Palm Beach. And um, the son passed away. And then the father had to make a decision, and we were happy that he selected us. And it's been just a, it's a Christie's um, brand. And with our luxury portfolio with leading real estate companies of the world, we just did about $2 billion in sales in that company and $4 billion in sales with the Kai's company. So a total of $6 billion this past year. So Congratulations. Yeah, it was an exciting year in spite of COVID. I know. <laughs> Listen, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes things happen for a reason and uh, you take uh, the right decision to move forward and here we go, an yeah. awesome result. Yeah, once, once COVID opened up, I think pretty much across the country, um, in June we saw a real pop and we started seeing our third quarter we were up like 40 percent and even in our fourth quarter we were up 45 percent over the previous year so you really saw a surge coming from the northeast new jersey uh -huh. new york connecticut and people wanting to come to florida um, because of, there's no income tax and there's no um, estate tax and we have a balanced budget so it's and we have warmth and sun and surf so Absolutely. it's a great place to be. Well, congratulations on that great success. Yeah. Yeah. And I would like to talk about your brand because you have an amazing company and your Thank team you. is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Um, so the way you built your brand, which is very important, and the way you are investing in your agents, it's amazing. So okay. I would like to talk a little Thank bit you. about it because there are a lot of companies that would offer 99.99% uh, .99 commission back right. and they would encourage agents to do everything everything yourself, you have a completely different approach, right. professional uh, approach and, uh, and this passion for real estate and, and be in customer service and relationship business. Yeah. No, okay. Well, it's a, it, the Kai's company is a 94-year-old company. It was founded in 2000, 19, 2026. And so, um, so we're basically celebrating 94. So I'm the third generation. I'm an SOB, son of the broker. <laughs> <laughs> and I grew up in the business. Um, but, and I think you realize that realistically, the associates don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I think what we've done and what we've built is a community of care, both internally but externally. We, we do fundraiser. We just did um, for the Feeding South Florida. We, we realized that we were the K economy and we benefited from the COVID experience, but there were many people in the hospitality that didn't. So we just raised $32,000 over the holidays um, to feed. We believe we were feeding over 100,000 families wow. in, the, in that monies and, and with what we were able to do on the leverage basis. So, um, so I think you need to give back to the community and it's bigger than just the real estate. I do think that you need to have a management team that supports supports your team and that supports the associates but knows them individually and is able to help and guide them um, to make a difference to maximize their dollars. I strongly believe that a realtor or real estate agent is a liaison between the buyer and the seller exactly. but also between the buyer and the community. Exactly. So when the buyer comes in and let's say from I'm I'm from New Jersey so yeah. I'm, a, I'm a true New Jersey in there. Uh, you sound so, like you got <laughs> That's right. I just uh, got my New Jersey and accent together. <laughs> uh, and so when, uh, uh, when let's say, I decide to arrive to Florida, I need that support. Right. So I need that liaison who will take me around the neighborhood, yeah. who will introduce me to the coffee shop owner, or tell me about the library, or tell me about that awesome restaurant down the street, uh, and other local businesses. That is a liaison. No, I think, I think the micro focus of associates that's why we don't think nationally and even the big brands aren't going to be able to handle it because it is a local micro business that you need to be a specialist in and if you are the specialist and you know your community and you know the products and the homes and you have the brand and you work that through social media through the community efforts you can't you can't lose
you can you'll, you'll be a success you will be a success I agree with you and some of your agents I spoke to some and they were saying that I am from Miami I was born and raised in Miami sure. I'm a true Miamian so who else can explain to a potential buyer uh, what's going on and what the infrastructure is and where to go and uh, what about uh, different businesses that they would like to get involved in I have the connections because I am from here yeah. so that is I think and, and Miami is an exciting place I think it's becoming a world phenomenon I grew up here I was born in Miami thankfully my dad moved from Michigan <laughs> out of the cold and came here in the 50s and so we're getting the benefit but we, we I say I like living in Miami because it's so close to the United States because we really are an international city <laughs> and um, it's dy demographically changing in those communities so we have a Venezuelan population mm -hmm. that deals with the Venezuelans we have a Argentinian population that we have a Russian population that okay. deals and so the specialty and understanding the cultures make a difference also and we found that in those communities you have to engage be part of the community and it does help if your nationality connects with those also here in South Florida absolutely I totally agree with you what about your agents do you have uh, agents from various countries oh, they represent different I think we probably have the most international uh, in, in um, we have 3,000 associates plus um, probably have a little bit more than that and I would say that probably thousand or more were not born in the United States you know what I mean? So maybe a third of our population is was born um, in another country and that came here because of the, where we live. I mean, it's not us necessarily. We match the community. Of course. And yes. we see and, and we, we participate. We in Doral, um, there's a lot of Venezuela we call Weston, which is out in West Broward. Uh -huh. um, they call it West Suela and West oh, really? Lombia, you know, because <laughs> there's so many. And little Cuba you have, that <laughs> yeah. is also. And the Cuban population that came early on and transformed really South Florida. So if you like that and it's exciting, it's really one of the most engaging places to live and, and play. Well, you certainly talked me into it. <laughs> <laughs> you should move down from I, Jersey. I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And so that's yeah, very exciting. No, that is that is absolutely fabulous. So you have 3,000 plus agents. What about your support for those agents, like the technology? Right now, it, you know, in our day and age, again, because of COVID and because we were kind of thrown into new direction of technology, not everyone was ready. And even if you are investing financially as an agent, and you are purchasing walkthrough videos and different floor plans and fancy 3D tours. You need to know how to use right. those tools. No, it's I, not I just it, financial investment. No, I think we've dramatically changed since my youth. I've been in the business 40 years to what the agent has to do today technologically. It's, it's more of a, not that that it, you still need to be face to face, Absolutely. eyeball to eyeball, yes. and it's still relationship. a personal relationship, relationship driven. A but the consumer wants you to be bringing those tools and technology to them to maximize the value. And I do think that through support, so we have tech trainers in all of our offices for new associates. We have a tech training seminar and webinar every week. Um, and engage depending on what it is, multiple processes. Our management team has to learn and notice it and know how to use it mm -hmm. because if they're not engaged, they're not going to be able to help. So it has radically shifted um, through, you know, database management, through, like you said, VHTs and videos and, and Matterports and making sure that you're maximizing. But we think we've got the support, the backup, the communication and the know-how for the associates to be able to leverage that and use it properly. No, that is absolutely great. It's I think support is extremely important so agents can learn and advance. It takes a while. And it takes them a while to get engaged, but once it, they connect and they're fearful and they and they're and it's difficult somewhat, but if you can walk them through individually or in a small group and show them and then they engage. I mean, we're, we're writing contracts now with e-signatures. We're emailing, the, I mean, we're, we're on cell phones taking FaceTime and video. I mean, so we have evolved, I mean, dramatically and our associates have really grasped, I think, the new, um, the new way of doing business. But you're right, it's continuing to change. And we just were on a call today that our manager said, we need to reintroduce some of the things back because I'm not so sure they all got it. <laughs> 
no, that, uh, but that is great that you are moving forward. And most importantly, you have the support. Right. You have the staff who is going to explain to agents because that is the scary part. Right. Like, for example, when uh, social media became just an absolute must right. and I was like terrified. I don't need that. I, I don't want that. <laughs> However, yes, I have to have it. It's right. not like there is no need or want. You right. just absolutely, it's a must. Right. And, uh, and I learned to love it. So, Listen. so, so, thinking you know, of social media, we brought in a video, how to speak on the camera. People were scared. And we just said, be yourself. Figure out your brand. I just talked to Matt Yorgi, one of our top associates, and I was on a call on a Zoom meeting this morning with that branch, and he says, they don't know what to expect from me because I don't just show houses, but uh, he's a golfer, he's out on the golf course, he does, he's himself on the brand, on the communication, and I think that's what we need to do, and people will engage. If you're a dog lover, if you're, you're human, and they want to see the humanness of you, but also show your expertise. Absolutely. No, I totally, I totally, totally agree with you. And uh, speaking of uh, like social media and other products, do you encourage agents besides professional photography, right. which you, you already right. uh, implemented that it's a must and there is no questions about it. Are you encouraging agents to invest in like walkthrough videos and floor yeah. plans and yeah, drone? I think, I think the million dollar question is, is does a realtor make a difference in maximizing the value of a home? And, and there's no question the quality of the agent and how he or she positions that property properly, pre-staging or marketing early to the home, a coming soon, building the demand, you know, uh, uh, communicating how to make the home look better, decluttering the home, and then maximizing through video and through presentations. I think it dramatically makes a difference and enhances the professionalism of the associate to get more business in the future because that's what the clients want. Absolutely. I strongly believe in, in, in I say it's intelligent marketing strategy. Perfect. for every property yeah. because you have to make sure that your seller is comfortable that your buyer uh, understands what they are getting that it's a smooth and pleasant transition Perfect. and uh, and it's already stressful enough for both for right. buyer and seller to move to make the change no it's, one likes big changes you no. know uh, unless you're moving to 12 million dollar apartment tomorrow uh, and uh, you just lived uh, in a rental property yeah. <laughs> then that change then, then that's exciting you hit the lottery <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That, I would like something like that, yeah. right? My uh, dad my dad used to say everybody's for progress, but nobody's for change. Oh, and nice. so, yeah, so basically so there is a reluctance of people changing and so you're right, we navigate and help them um, accomplish what they want to accomplish in a painful and not so easily um, done process. Exactly. And that's why I think it is important to have, uh, to have the realtor who invests the energy and the passion and who is creating actually a friend right. in the face of the buyer or the seller and, uh, and making the transition so nice and smooth. And that is, uh, that is extremely important. Well, I, think, I think what the business is is a relationship business. And if done professionally and taken to the next level, almost a white glove, a Ritz-Carlton effect for each of your properties, then your name and your brand get shared to others and then the business comes back to you. So that's really the way it should be. If you don't do that, you're doing one-offs, you're doing that one deal, but you're not multiplying the deals to be able to get the voice and the positioning in the market that you really want to. And that kind of brings me uh, to a question about referrals. In my opinion, referral is so important. It's, like I was referred to cool. you by Brian, that's, right? That's, that's right. So just, referrals But are... you were persistent too, so <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> well, thank you, yeah. Mike. <laughs> I consider it as a compliment. It is. I mean, you should get your license and come work for us. <laughs> well, thank you for the invite. Um, and I think it is important, the referral business is you are investing your energy, not in today's listing, not in today's property, but in your name, in your brand, and in tomorrow's business, actually. Right. When you have an open house, regardless whether exactly. it's virtual or real, and you have a buyer who comes in, first of all, just about every buyer can be a potential seller. Right. And when they see how you behave yourself, how you present, what you just did for that property, in a way you get interviewed. 
by the... Perfect. We, we have a couple, um, the, they call themselves the spouses that sell houses. <laughs> the Alessandra and Mikey, they came to us from a merger, just did $58 million this past year, young couple in their 30s, and um, they do it all off open houses. They go and do an open house like you've never seen, invite everybody around the neighborhood, knocking on doors, and they put on a show, and that basically then multiplies that and make those connections and offer the services of all the knowledge around the community. And they did $58 million this past year, some 122 deals closed. Well, good for them. Yeah. Congratulations. And they're, but they're what you're saying. They're the epitome of professionalism. And when people meet and engage and they're taking it to the next level, it just breeds more business. Absolutely. That is, that is so true. And I believe in relationship. I think the relationship is the base. Right. We are in uh, people business in right. a way, right? We are people's people. So you have to have, uh, you have, to have that chemistry right. built. And I think we have good chemistry. Yeah, right, 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 right. Don't, don't let Peter know that. Huh? So, so I do think, but, but it's interesting in this COVID environment, Lucy, that has been more difficult. And so realistically, and in the tight inventory market that we have, um, it, it is, it's really incumbent to be more deliberate in my approach to my contacts, my sphere of influence. We have a program called Lolo, okay. which is a gift um, for a dollar. You guys can all look it up. They'll send a gift to their client of valued at probably 10 or $15. It may be a, a one was a surfboard um, a exercise to be able to go out. Another one may be a pizza. And we're, we're selling three, $4 million homes and we're sending these gifts. And the guy goes, hey, I just went and got my cup of coffee for free, but it's a connection. <laughs> So every month they get a gift from our associates that basically not a coupon, not a discount, but an actual gift to go in. So how do you connect in this technological world where people aren't as active because of COVID? I think it takes real discipline and tools and technology to be able to do that. Absolutely. And I think in today's uh, environment, we have to respect each other and respect the fact that not everybody want to invite and, uh, and have an open house and invite right. an army of strangers for whatever reason. Right. And we shouldn't even ask any questions, not that we do. We respect the fact that someone is saying, sorry, I cannot do that, but you can uh, bring your photographer. Right. Let's do the job. Do what you have to do. I'm going to leave the house for, for a day, but uh, that's it. Yeah. And then do and then do the virtual showings right. and sell my house and sell it soon. So think about the marketing strategy right. Right. and be intelligent about it. And we, we have an app um, on for our, all of our associates if they hold an open house, rather than giving a sheet or making them sign in, they sign in on the app. And basically the email gets sent to them about that property, the video tours, everything else in it. So it's a very professional, but then you're capturing them. And then we're starting, then we've retargeted through AdWorks, basically all of our connections. And so they're gonna get 15 ads from our associate. And then we start watching how they're looking and seeing and are able then to send them more properties and communicate to it. So again, from that initial action, we're able to leverage it and keep engaging through our technology and through our focus. No, that is absolutely wonderful. And uh, by the way, I do love AdWorks. I think the way they treat the video, the way they introduce it on streaming TV right. and uh, the return on investment, what the agent gets from it. Well, it's a um, branding process that the consumer now sees Lucy, you know, three, four, five, six, seven times on CNN when he just met her at the open house. And so it reinforces the brand and reconnects. And then as we're serving up more products to them and saying, look at this home and look at that home, the machine and the technology is doing that. We think it's engaging to the consumer a little bit more and helping our associates do more business. Absolutely. Well, listen, that is fantastic. Yeah. It's such a pleasure to yeah. meet you. Yeah. And I wish you to have at least $12 billion. Yeah, boy, uh, from your mouth to God's <laughs> ears. Thank you very much. I, that would be a good goal to have. We'll double our business. Uh, double your business, That's please. Right. And then we'll have another interview. Perfect. And I will say, listen, I brought you luck. Thank you very much. An honor to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. All the best. Thank you.